All right, GDC, day one. We actually ventured over to the West Hall where we ran into Dr. Mark Olila, and he is with Nokia, and gone are the days of the Engage system, and now are the days of the Nokia Engage experience. And he's actually going to explain it for us and show us a few demos, and here we go. The Engage experience is what we're looking at delivering at the moment, and fundamentally that means looking at what the end consumer needs. And what the end consumer needs is an experience that allows you to find games, play them, discover them, and actually decide, maybe through try and buy, actually through try and buy, uh, if they actually want to buy the games. And what we're looking at doing is building a community across several of our actual devices with this Engage experience on it that allows people to decide the phone that they want, the multimedia computer that they want, that actually has the Engage experience on it so they can have the gaming experience that they particularly want. So what I'll show you now is a sample of that Engage experience. And what I want to sort of emphasize is that in 2006, there was about 80 million converged devices sold. Nokia had about 50% market share of that. In 2008, about 250 million converged devices will be sold and what we're looking to achieve is actually ensure that the gaming experience, this rich experience, experience with community is out there and people can actually enjoy it. So I'm going to show an example of the Engage application running on a sample device. We haven't announced what devices they'll be on, but during 2007, about five to seven devices will be out there that will be able to support this ex experience. We've got here an example of the Engage application running. So you can have instant gaming where you actually could start a game immediately. You can actually look at your progress where you've got your game points and actually see how many friends you've got. You can decide to play with your friends and you can see that one of your friends is offline. You could actually also decide to find more games. And what we're trying to do again with this whole experience is make it something easy for consumers. So you can have a look at games that are available. You can get more games. You could actually then look at your gaming history see what games you've played in the past. You could actually see uh, what acquaintances are online. You could actually do messaging to them. And you can actually then, importantly, discover new games. So you can see news coming out, Fishing Fun, it's out now. Okay, let's have a look at it. And so, oh, Creatures of the Deep, okay. It's a fishing adventure like no other. Maybe you want to say, well, okay, maybe it's something interesting. Okay, well, let's look at some imagery. This imagery is stuff which uh, is available, and you, oh, actually, I like the look of that. Uh, see it. Okay. What about some reviews? Well, some, some people have actually had some really interesting reviews about the game, saying this was actually very different. So what we're, again, we're trying to achieve with everything that we're doing here is an end-to-end -end experience where consumers can actually find games, be with their friends, enjoy that experience, communicate messages uh, with each other, have game invites occurring, and fundamentally uh, have an amazing experience. So I'm going to bring up one of the games that we're looking at that we're doing at Nokia. Now we've announced third-party publishers are joined in supporting this platform, this Engage experience, such as we've announced EA and Gameloft. This weekend we announced that THQ, India Games, uh, Glue are actually participating as well in this whole support of the actual Engage platform. And at Nokia we have our own Nokia game publishing that uh, we're it's doing, uh, Creatures of the Deep. And it's a, uh, it's a fishing game and uh, it's targeting our, our, our casual market per se and, and I'm just moving around and you can see it's just rich graphics that we're trying to achieve. So there we are, you can see that we've got a bit of rain going and so I can cast, simple one button control cast, set it out, gets cast out, then it goes through and then I can try and reel in objects and see what actually happens here. And the sort of things that you can do is you can cache fish, you can cache actually sometimes a rubber duck, for instance, or a boot or something like that, and you gain experience from it. And this is just an example of a simple casual game that we've got, but it's rich in colour, rich in uh, media, and it has community aspects with it as well, where you can invite people to come in um, and so forth. So as you can see with this device, what we've done now is I've put it into landscape mode. And you can see, like, this is um, basically what we're able to achieve on uh, like one of our devices, the N93, that we've had out on the market for a while. And uh, 
And so now I'm going to go out there and I'm going to try and uh, do something, but uh, I don't think I'm going to achieve much at all. So, but this is just showing the sort of uh, uh, what we're able to, to do on these devices today. And this is much more uh, intense than what we had with the fishing game. So what we're trying to do, again, from Nokia Game Publishing, is basically get content that will target different sorts of uh, uh, target segments that are actually interested in the different types of content that we have. And what I want to emphasize here is that the content that you get on the phone is not only actually getting delivered over the air, but we can actually get it through the internet so it can come OTI. So uh, it's not necessarily through us, it could actually come through an operator or it could come through an operator website or it could come through a normal retailer. What made Nokia switch from being an actual system with games to just a Nokia, like an engage experience? Well, I think one of the key things that we understood and discovered was that uh, the the device, the, uh, the multimedia com uh, computer as we call it, is used for many more things than actual gaming. What we've discovered is that uh, on a gaming side, gaming is rated either first or second in terms of what people want to have on their phone. Music or camera is uh, other components that people want to have on their phones. But people have got different tastes, like they maybe want a thin phone, maybe they want a thick phone, but they do want a gaming experience there. So instead of us thinking of like a vertical market with one device dedicated for gaming, we thought, okay, all our consumers are interested in gaming, either first or second, then okay, let's bring that experience to our handsets. And that's what we thought, okay, that's the experience they want. And then we thought, well, what is that experience? Like, it's about community, it's about trying and buying, it's about having the easy ability to actually find content. That was the key thing, the ability to find it, discover it very quickly. And that's what we saw as key. Do you think, in a way, this is kind of the MySpace and Xbox Live for mobile gaming? I think what it is, is basically it's the, the Nokia Engage experience going across many, many devices. And that's what it is. It's basically, it's about community. We had the, uh, we had the arena uh, success with our old Engage solution. And with that, like we had something like 700,000 users actually in that arena community. And that was from only like uh, 3 million devices actually sold. Now we're talking about millions upon millions of devices that Nokia is selling in the converged device market. Market. So if you do the numbers, then it's a great opportunity for us in the community space as well for gaming. So when are players going to be able to download these games? Well, uh, we're looking at uh, fall 2007 that this will be uh, out there for people to enjoy and build up that gaming experience. What are the price ranges and what about the phones? Are those pretty expensive? Well, the phones vary, vary depending on how you buy them through retail or through operator. Like the phones are now shipping now. So some, uh, like, uh, some phones basically will, uh, that are out now will be able to support the N-Gage experience. But we haven't decided which ones will have that. We know there will be five to seven devices during 2007 that will support that Engage experience. But the key thing that I want to um, outline is that the pricing, well, we're looking at games which are, uh, have much more like rich experiences attached to it, but the prices, the final prices will be decided by the publishers and developers. Like we're not going to be like deciding prices, that's not our role. Our role is about the, the experience, making sure it's the best for the consumer. Anything else you want to tell us about Engage or Nokia? It's a great time to be in mobile gaming. I just love it. All right, well, that was Nokia and Engage. No longer systems, now it's about experience. Well, this is Nikki Enderly reporting from GDC for I4U News, sponsored by Sanyo Interloop. Rechargeable, save the environment batteries.